I found a project that I am really interested in and really passionate about. I think it's going to make a big difference. So I, I got hooked. I got hooked on research. Um, I'm loving it. Uh, and it, it made me think about where I was going with my life and, and how I saw myself in a few years down the road. And I switched from veterinary to wanting to maybe pursue a PhD and, and looking at my professors and the faculty members, especially in, in animal science, um, saying, wow, they are fantastic and they love their jobs and they're good at what they do and I really admire that. And I think it'd be fun to teach students and, and mentor students and be that role model that I've had. And so that's kind of where I want to go is, is be a professor and to be able to do that. One of the veterinarians from Zoetis it came and visited and we talked about you know, doing this project where we would test all of our female Holsteins. So then you would have a really, a pretty darn good idea of what kinds of offspring you're gonna get. And so you can better select for animals that you want on your operation. So what we found was there are a lot of cool components to this test. So not only do you get, you know, genetic trait predictions for these animals, for these animals' offsprings, but you get um, things like, are they a carrier of a recessive disorder that you may not want in your herd? And then looking at what types of traits these animals are gonna pass to their offspring. So I've learned a lot through undergraduate research out of the classroom. So not only do I get to learn about genetics, you know, in my genetics classes, but I actually get to do genetics. And a lot of the genetic stuff that I'm doing is, is pretty progressive. So it, it's almost a little bit ahead of my genetics classes. And so it really gives you good, you know, hands-on, um, experience and hands-on learning and I really enjoy that. Whenever I go and, and sit down and talk with Dr. Murdoch about genetics and and have questions and, and, and learning about genetics that just makes my entire day. If I learn something or if something clicks in my mind like oh I get it now you know starting to sort of think on my own and generate my own ideas on, based on what I've done is, is cool and I love, you know, being in the microscope room and taking pictures of my cells and images and then looking at those images and saying, wow, you know, I was involved in this whole process. You know, I got the samples, I put the cells on the microscope slides, I stained the slides and I put it under the microscope, I took the images and I analyzed them. I was a part of that whole process and seeing the data at the end of that, I like, wow, I put a lot of work into that. This is so cool. And look what we found, you know, I just wanna I just wanna do more, I just wanna keep going, so.